Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux in which we are playing as everyone's favorite Austrian monarch, Karl the First, but really as the Austrian Empire, about the situation of our good old nation in 36. Despite standing amongst the victors of the Weltkrieg, the war revealed the divisions of culture, class, and ideology within the Empire ever so clearly, and the inner unrest continued on as the war ended. Kaiser Karl, bless his heart, following the first steps of the assassinated Franz Ferdinand and trying to reform the multinational Austro-Hungarian Empire into something that could survive in the 20th century, <coughs> launched a series of large-scale reforms, however, his efforts were largely blocked by nobility of the Hungarian side of the Empire, leading to his plans of federalization progressing only slowly and only on the Cisleithian side of the empire. However, many felt that there is hope for Austria. The last decades were hard on the empire, but the efforts have started paying off. Uh, Cisleithanian Austria, now a federation state, has calmed down, but the same cannot be said for the Transleithania. It is, however, unlikely that the Carpathian Basin will continue to remain in the Magyar Huns, since Hungary's peoples have been getting grazing upon the liberties upon the Leithia. Wishing to have such autonomy for themselves, whether a reform will be able to find its way to Hungary, only the Kaiser knows for sure. Austria at an Oba Ultima. The OAE organized protests. Yet again, the OAE has arrived in the streets to complain about a government and asking to be in power again. Every time it gets worse. This one is no different. The worst in Austrian history, the OAE continues to get more powerful each year. No matter how hard the government tries to stop them, there's only one choice left to silence them. Violence, lethal force, engage. And that is the national popular. So, um, I do want to let you know we will probably be going with as much as I want to go Fiume, I want to see Adolphus, which is really, apparently really simple. So how do you get angled about Adolphus as Austria, which is a path we've never done, and someday I promise I will do the Fiume path as well. So we got to act the SDAP, so the Social Democrats, ban the VF, which is the uh, Vaterlandische Front. And do not unban them, and eventually they will cool. Coup, which is cool. So let's enjoy ourselves, a good old Austrian campaign, which, uh, we can't do anything here, okay. Oh, this is the path we want to go. Liebenfels alien Austrian nation. I can't wait just to see what they're like. We had like a red Austrian path, but you know what? Whatever. Cool. Hope you guys have a pretty good day. I'm doing pretty good myself. Pick a Carl. What is this? Welcome to the Pick a Carl shop. Enjoy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Seven looks big brain right there. I kind of like the way he looks right now. I kind of like that one the most. If you want to read about him, please go ahead. Let's go. I'll take Carl Seven. He's got a big brain. He looks really flippin' tired. Okay, maybe I don't want that one. Can I choose another Carl? He looks really tired and just not happy. Uh, this one seems too regal. This one seems okay. Uh, how about Carl 3? He seems kind of like normal. That seems really normal. As time goes on and the world just gets worse and worse and Austria gets worse and worse, maybe we'll choose up what Carl's gonna look like. I think that'd be a good idea. Civilian, oh, local autonomy, yes please. Italian Federation, oh, you better get more compliance there, you son of a rock shocker. But we're building ourselves up, and I don't know when we're supposed to get a focus, which is kind of weird. But we'll see what happens, we're gonna piss off the Hungarians probably a whole bunch. Oh, actually, why does, why is Lithuania do be looking a little funky? You're a bunch of social conservatives, oh boy, that's not good. A new direction, Black Monday hits Austria, I thought I said America. Ethnically motivated murder, how terrible. Two, wait, 2% two closer to the collapse, what the heck? Black money is at Germany, would not be long before its own shockwaves rippled across Europe. Given its close, close proximity, Austria was among the first to be affected. The economy is struggling and the troubling times are lying ahead. Ugh, what? Wait, do we not... Wait, can we not do anything about that? So National Austerity Council looks like a lot of fun. Jacobins elected in France, which I do need to play sometime as well. Aftermath of Black Monday, recovering industry, we do need to go public welfare reform, so Austrian elections with 1936. Since federalization began, the Austrian elections were mostly reduced to the German-speaking part of the empire. The two major parties have dominated Austrian politics, the CS and the SDAP. This year's elections, too, are harshly fought. The SDAP and CS have very different ideas of dealing with the ongoing economic crisis. The SDAP's program focuses on easing the workers' plight, with a focus on unemployment benefits and government intervention. The CS, on the other hand, followed a program of severe austerity measurements. It is for the people to decide, which we'll probably read about this one anyways. Elections were held every six years in the Austrian part of the dual monarchy, though since the end of the Valkyrie, several of these acting periods have been cut short by reformer scandals. Austrian politics were dominated by the SDAP and the Social Democrats Worker Party in the CS, the Christian Socials, but both have different ideas on how to solve the ongoing crisis, but who will win? Oh, I like Pick a Carl. Endorse these guys? Endorse SDAP? Close that out, close it out. But the Osterreicherscher, Erosophischer, 
Einheit's party wants to participate in the elections. The OAE, or OAE, have always been barred from participating in elections, requests with formality to be given a chance in the upcoming elections every cycle. Headed by Lanz von Liebenfeld, an infamous racialist, occultist, aerosophist, and former Christian monk of the Caesarian Order, the OAE is still an oddity in Austrian politics. He sounds like my type of man. The basis of the party's ideology is aerosophy, a school of thought invented by Liebensfels that promotes Aryan purity as if it were chosen by God and mixing Christian, German, pagan, and holistic philosophies. This mystic movement seeks to prove that the Aryan soul, our Germanic soul, is the purest soul in existence. Furthermore, Aerosophy, sometimes called theozoology, theozoology, believes that the lower races of the earth, as well as the disabled and deranged, should be bred out of existence and prevented from procreating so that their genes die out. Additionally, Levens Falls believes that through Aryan breeding initiatives, the total purity of the German Aryan bloodline can be restored, granting our people the paranormal powers of our demigod ancestors. The ultra radical nationalist views, their oppressive and violent methods, and the overall threat they pose to our country makes them a guaranteed liability in any Republican system. It's time we tell them the same thing. Get out of here. Until later, the opening school and SDAP rally, even in the uh, <clears throat> economic situation of Austria, has been dire for a while. The first year after the First years after the Weltkrieg, when the CS and SDAP still cooperated in the governance, Austrian Empire saw widespread reforms in education and welfare, like academies for specialized workers began construction, workers' pensions were introduced, and child labor was once and for all eliminated, unfortunately. Vienna has been regarded as a front-runner in social circles. Today, a new academy is opened in the 9th district of Vienna, which the SDAP sees as a major success. Many speeches by various politicians are held, Karl Renner always standing in the background. Renner had been the effective head of the party since he found the goodwill of the emperor during the Weltkrieg with the policy of Bürgerfried on cooperation with the crown. The efforts are praiseworthy. Social Democrat support. Up goes up. Oh. Adler denounces SDAP. I prefer they didn't claim the success of the joint government as their own. Hold on. The OAE complains. In the wake of our incoming denial that they could see coming from many kilometers away, the OAE is taken again to the streets to complain about our government. They whine and beg for participation in the general elections in 1936, which they obviously will not get. They only get worse by the day. Boo-hoo, too bad. The roots of obsession, and I am a little obsessed. Orthy has set himself going up with the ideas of more money more and more lately. The higher ups of few may have taken notice, and behind his back were even impending obsession. A few of the highest ranks have already begun actively attempting to suppress any want for such copious amounts of money, but as we have so much money, it would be difficult. Orthy himself has noticed it's strange, and that he's being talked to like this with a whole pirate thing and all. For now, it's just a minor problem. We should keep an eye on it. Hopefully, it doesn't go crazy. As much as I want to go see us, we're going to the SDAP. Nice. Adler announces the SDAP. Friedrich Adler, son of the former head of the SDAP and a radical socialist and mostly known for shooting Graf Stürken, or Stürk, and the protest of the Valkyrie has denounced SDAP as the kind of socialism that is just serving the establishment. Radicals will be radicals. The CS invites Prince Otto to hunt. The CS, the party of the petite bourgeoisie, the Catholic Church, and the conservative countryside, usually refrains from holding large public events in Vienna. They instead focus their efforts on smaller private meetings. One such planned meeting will be in the form of a hunt in the Wienerwald. Prince Otto was uh, formally invited to join the hunt. Having enjoyed an aristocratic education, the Habsburg heir is already used to such social occasions if he wants to. Uh oh. I feel I feel really bad if I, if he dies. I feel really bad if he dies. Okay, successful hunt. Following the hunt, the feast was held, during which the radio interview with several prominent CS figures, but also Prince Otto, was recorded. It seems like this was on purpose, as Prince Otto is now being associated with the party, and uh, support amongst our most devoted subjects for the party's increase. Well, is this what they're hunting for? Well, well, they're 30 percent, but SDAP is still 32, and that's still going up, so I'm not too worried about that. Japanese troops garrison uh, Tianjin. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Worrying, say the least. The death of Pius XI through the passing of the Pope. What action should we take? Mourn the Pope's death or attempt to install the loyal Duke Giuseppe de Toscana on the throne. Doing so would make Italian Federation a puppet of Austria, though it would greatly displease the main Catholics of our nation. Set of condolences. Press the claims of Duke Giuseppe of to de Toscana. Well, let's get the political power. Nice. I like that PP. Um, honestly, going to early mobilization. Do we have anything here for mobilization at all? Let's take a look. Mobile. No, we do not. That sucks. Okay, so so that's good to know. Um, uh, what do we have for industry before we do anything else? That's really nice. Ten percent's not bad either, but eh, I'd rather get this done first. So we can build slightly faster. Get slightly more consumer goods, and after that one, we can probably head, start heading to partial mobilization as well. Get a little bit more fuel gain because we're completely out because we're training ships, we're training planes. Oh, you know, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Democracy? The third election, the final tally is in. After the hard fought election campaign, we shall now find who the winner is. Isn't this exciting? 
SDAP wins elections. The final counts for the elections are in. While it was a close call, the votes of the city of Vienna have made the SDAP the clear winner. Austria's Social Democrat. For now, we still have a divided society. Public welfare reforms. The main concern of the SDAP during the election campaign was to see that the Austrian worker lives through the ongoing crisis. They plan to reaffirm the many reforms introduced in conjunction with the CS since the Valkyrie, and to provide pensions for all those who have lost their job since. Remove socialist promises, huh? So we, lose, we get political power back when we get, reduce uh, Social Democrat support, which makes sense. Bombs explode in the Austrian Empire. Pray for the victims. Work for the workless. That's not bad. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that's this one. Work for the workless. We got way more stability in construction speed. Those who have lost their jobs with the ongoing crisis have already been granted pensions to hold them over the water. However, they still want work since we already pay them anyways. We might as well employ them. Factories that have previously been shut down by their owners are now starting to sluggishly operate again. That by state controlled councils, of course. Not bad. 0.56. The OAE organized a riot. Uh, instead of taking to the streets today, the OAE is taking the streets today in riots spanning many cities and towns across Austria. All, of course, over the nation. Quite a staggering number of people came out uh, uh, to demonstrate in favor of the OAE. And as per usual, being violent and uncivil towards our law-abiding citizens. This has been the worst of the OAE in our history, and it's being discussed before to ban them, which has resurfaced in time. What should we do about these crude rabble-rousers? Well, let's take a look. Dolphus, we elect them, and then we ban them. Lethal force engage. Ban their party. Many people support the Fatherland Front. It isn't a good idea. Do not unban them. Uh, oh, political power. Oh, that is so nice. Thank you. So we ban them. And do not unban them. Do not unban them. Because if you piss people off enough, they might just rebel eventually. Hopefully we can get through a lot of this stuff here too. Oh, it would be good to get rid of divided society as well. And Rooker's Spear would not be bad either to get. Actually, that's really nice. Outsplash renegotiations of 1937. Government official killed in broad daylight. A prominent official of ours has been killed in broad daylight by unknown assailant. I suspected that assailant was a member of the OAE. I attempted to make a point. All that the stupid assassin has done is driven his party more into the ground. As we'll be doing something about them soon. Darn, we lost so much PP there. Sorry. Expand the Austrian military. The 36th Vienna bombing. Another brain dead OE terrorist has attempted to make an example of the Impurers by exploding a bomb in Vienna. Toppling many buildings and blowing off a chunk of the government building. Indeed, the casualties have been tallied, numbering 32. Kaiser Karl has expressed great displeasure in the attack and has condemned the OAE's actions. Lanz von Liebenfels has responded that he has not held the party to commit such horrible acts and has announced it as well. How tragic sinner condolences. Demands from the OAE leaders of Lanz von Liebenfels. Since their party, of course, has now been banned and unable to operate in any political office, uh, Lanz von Liebenfels has demanded the unbanning of the party or else, of course, the reason is not the most laughable one, but it is very much plausible that his large support base would do something in his name, shall he give the command. Do we fulfill Liebenfels' demands, or shall we shut him down just how we shut down his extremist party? Do not find, allow them to operate? Why don't you stay underground? Do not unban them. Because after Math of Black Monday right now is... Wow, that construction speed is really bad. Maurice Gamelon, Kuz Kaminards, they stormed the Imperial Palace. It seemed that the Osterreich, uh, Aerosophische Einheitspartei has been pushed over the edge. A legion of their armed contingent stormed the Imperial Palace today, guns blazing. It seems that the Viennese police were conspiring with Liebensfels in the attempt, as the police did not intervene in the shootout after a tense minute. The attempt is halted. They install. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, we complete Liebenfels' Aryan Austrian nation. Oh, look at that. Factor change, world population, recruitment population, factor instability. Who are you? Who's Gamelon? Maurice Gamelon? Marshall. Oh. Huh. Social Democrats. Is that normal? Have they become Social Democrat? Um. I guess. I don't know. Uh, can we get this one done first? I want to get. Uh, I don't know why. I just want to get that one done first. It would be nice to get it done. Yeah, let's remove social promises first. Gov uh, government officials assassinate it. We'll deal with them later. That's not good. I like that one. Common army recruitment. The Vienna Circle. Influence of the OAE. Nice. Actually, does that get rid of it? Oh. Oh, you get a lot more stuff here. That's nice. Tuck, huh? Fruits of the Open Door. Not bad. First international conquest. Pirates of the Meridian. Mer Meridian. Uh, Mediterranean. A recent return of pirates have been noticed in the Mediterranean Sea, specifically the Adriatic Sea, where captains have noticed. Uh, far away flags of the Jolly Roger waving on the destroyers and subs. No casualties have been noted yet, but it's wise to tell someone to get rid of them early. Horthy will do that job for us. He's the best option, right? Ask a trusted Admiral Horthy to take them down. Wait, why? We can switch between Chancellor and Kaiser view. So, rule of the Ostalischische Aerosophische Einheitspartei. That's really nice. 
So now, we can't go down this way. At least we got rid of socialist promises. We can't go down here, I guess, either. Oh, maybe we can eventually. That would still be very nice. Well, I've never gone down this path, but we'll see what happens. Oh, no, excuse no more. And now a new double eagle rises over the Aryan homeland. Lanz von Liebensfels, chairman of the OAE, has seized the apparatus of state in Austria. He shall show the path of God to all those who do not believe in us and bring purity to our plague land. Uh, may God be with us. God save Austria. Suppress the socialists. Oh, so we're removing the socialist promises anyways. Disable the legislature. The Slovenes and the SDAP will be thrown into rage if we do this. Uh, raise the, the working weak. You lose stability, get more construction speed and output. Ooh, that's not bad either. Collective management of business. It's not bad. Oh, another research slot. Jumpstart the military economy. Let's get the research slot. The collective management by workers, employers, and state officials by the national level will better allow for the pursuing of national goals. They will represent themselves in the interest via labor contracts. This way, we can reduce opposition by the opposing parties. The pen is mightier than the sword, though. When Miklos Hoth, the Admiral of the Austrian Empire, was approached with his orders to hunt down the pirates, he presented an alternative, a more profitable method of dealing with the pirates. He suggested that we try to negotiate with them to stop targeting us, and in return will pay them just enough money to satisfy the greed. The proposition was a shock to the parties involved, who are split as per usual on the course of action, but it was decided in a vote that Holthy was attempting, or was it was to attempt diplomatic procedures first? Just hoping, if you say so. After this, uh, Liebenfels Constitution. The new Constitution of Austria has been put into effect today, giving Liebenfels supreme authority over Austria and establishing truly Karl as a figurehead to maintain stability. It's held by the OAE. Finally, giving them what they need, but to everyone else, it effectively ends Austria's democratic system. To them, Austria is now an evil dictatorship. But to those who know the truth, we are merely doing what is necessary to build a pure, pious, and Aryan Austria. We are doing what is best. Suppress the socialists would be good to do. Uh, I would like to do this one as well. That's actually really nice. So let's go raise the working week. We'll disable the legislature third. So we'll do this one, suppress the socialists, and disable the legislature. Raise the working week. The machines of an industry that can claim your life. Thus it has been deemed necessary to outfit many of the industrial machines with safety restrictions, thus improving them significantly. Basic machine tools, nice. Very nice. And we're at four research slots. Oh, I forgot about that. Nice. Nice flag. We need more swastikas. Very nice. Very lovely. Greece sees Austrian assets, thanks to the rippling effects of Black Monday. Austrian investors who have majority shares in Greek factories and mines have been closing these businesses down. In some cases because they're unprofitable, but in others because the investors have gone bankrupt. The Greek government has responded by seizing the companies despite the Treaty of Solonica, signed after the war stipulating that our investors have unfettered access to the economy. Many in the government are suggesting we respond harshly and not only apply sanctions, but pull all investments out of the Hellenic Republic altogether. Others say the country is only trying to stay afloat. Black money has hit us all hard. We're all trying to cope? Harsh sanctions. Because we like it harsh here. Yeah. So yeah, raise the working week is definitely what we want to do. I mean, it hurts our stability, but... We're, as long as we're above 50%, that'd be good. Get more output, we get more construction speed, get more like, research slot, which is awesome. Um, well, I have to get this one, of course. First. Impose limits. Ooh, even with less stability. We can really build things a lot fast. God wills our progress. Nice. I like that one. Everyone say gets infrastructure. Emblazoned patriotism. Well, would you look at that guy? That looks really cool. Nice. We're going to definitely need that because we're going to have to fight Germany in the end. Uh, we need a lot of political power. Prince Sabahatin appointed Grand Vizier. Horthy orders construction of naval facilities in Fiume. Uh, Nicholas Horthy has requested the construction of dockyards and a large naval port to be constructed in the capital Illyrian city of Fiume. When asked why, Horthy said to store the ships he intended to acquire soon, but did not specify how soon that was. The construction workers over in Fiume have accepted his demands and begun porting materials over to the coast to build a large harbor. How interesting. Why there, though? So if I control, we get more national populism, which would be a good idea, but... Propaganda leaflets is really now vandals? Huh. How do we get more daily national popular support? That seems like a good thing we should probably try to get. So... Osterreich Uber Alles. Nice. Oh, that looks pretty good. Princess Interest of the State. Nice. It is still 1936. It gets a better planes because we are outdated. As we're still trying to build ourselves up. Chromium would be nice. I mean, we're not really focused on the Navy too much. We literally have no fuel, which sucks. Um, honestly, we're doing okay where we're at right now. Honestly, they're two and a half international. I don't understand that. So, I don't know if we'll get Austro Dalma. So, doing that one would probably be okay already. Wait, why would we choose you when we have you? Synthetic and industrial. Electronics and industrial, okay. By Austria. Inter internal radicalization within the OAE. Despite a radical nature, the Cooperative Party remains centered around Liebenfels 
has always been held more extreme, far extreme beliefs, being more openly and fully dedicated to the views espoused in Theo, Zoology, and Ariosophy. Ariosophy. However, these more radical ideas have begun to mutate the minds of the feeble masses as they seep out from the core of the party. Some naive and misguided fools within the party have come to bastardize Liebenfeld's message, perverting his ideas and taking them to their absolute extremes. Dangerously, all this was once small group of dedicated Aryan occultists have now even grown into a sizable minority within the party. To us, even they are evil, standing as a pack of mutated mongrels, simply misinterpreting the will of Liebenfels and the Lord. The minority has already been outlawed by Liebenfels and sent underground, where hopefully nobody will find it. That is a real enemy of the people. Radicalism like that, we are merely the bringers of good days. It's a little too extreme for my taste, but... Oh well. Nice. That's not bad. Oh, more deck size though, that's really nice. Good. And we're going with Superior Firebrand because I don't know how this campaign is going to go, so we'll try the best we can. We definitely want to tank so. Uh, let's do a focus in a little bit first. I want to get I want to get some more political power here. Just get uh, Alpen Montage Gesellschaft. Ethically motivated murder. Good. Raising the rock week. We need more stability too. Can I get a point now, which is okay. Suppress the socialists. Our seizure of power from the SDAP has left a bit of taste in the mouth. One that they shall say uh, shall be rid of once uh, they do away with the OAE government. We'll strike them first, bringing the evil plans to a grinding halt. In another path of God, let us show them it. Oh, nice. Um, so I don't even know this what this path is, because I've always done uh, status, I've done the status quo, which is okay. This part hopefully it will work someday, but uh, well, we'll see. Uh, Embrace pluralism. I like and doing that one. Pirates turn to our side. Admiral Miklos Hothi has told us of successes of diplomacy on the Pirates of the Adriatic. He's turned them to our side successfully, and according to Holthy, they will not target uh, ships bearing the Austrian flag. However, this means that Illyrian ships will have to bear the Austrian flag in case they were already equipped with the Illyrian flag. A pirate delegate was with Holthy as well, who confirmed all of his statements, but something seemed wrong to a few members of the meeting. None of them can point it out, but they say that pirates may have duped us. For now, though, as long as they don't accept our targets or target our ships, we will mind our own business and not interfere with theirs. He did it, the madman. I've not, I've never, I've never done the dual and the dual rule. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Wow, I get way more political power. Crush Serbia. Claim Romanian land. Seems like a lot of fun. Reclaim Silesia. Renew Sicilian ties. We should try this route sometime, but we'll see. I would like to send in the army because we need more stability, but... Working on it. Definitely, definitely working on it. So we'll raise the working week and then suppress the socialists, which would be good. Nice. And then we'll probably do disable the legislature. Legislature of old has yet to be dealt with. It is uh, <clears throat> not been forced out of its seats yet, and therefore we're not truly what we claim to be. We'll disable the legislature and transform Austria into what they believe it should be. With a strong leader who can redeem its past. Illyria, ushering out of our companies, or uh, Horthy moves to Illyria. Our admiral, Mithla Klaus Horthy, has been packing bags for a while, but only today he's announced his intentions with his luggage. He plans to move to Illyria, but refuses to specify the exact location of his new harbor. It's rumored that he's moving to Fiume, next to the shipyards, with the pirates he turned over to our side. Many have secretly plotted against him, trying to convince him to stay, and a few have directly petitioned to the Kaiser to stop Horthy from leaving, but it is now his turn to make a verdict. What shall we say? Good luck. Good luck. The Illyrian government has evicted major Austrian companies from their positions of unquestioned power. This has opened up their economy to more p competition with smaller and medium businesses. Though this has angered some, due to our dire state, there's much we can do about stopping them. How rude. So they're leaving us, huh? I need to play as Illyria someday, too. This seems like fun. Staying the Valkyrie. Big guns. Black Monday strikes, of course. Cheating the rich. Nice. Oh! Wait, what? Arson spree. Burn them in prison. Wait, what? Wait, what? You went... You went... To how, what? You join the Reichsback and then leave. You get Lithuania. What? How did that happen? Vilnius? New capital? Warsaw is a capital? How did you... The Reich's back question. Uh, Holthy settles in Fiume. After the Admiral arrived in Illyria, further details arrived. He was settled in to settle in Fiume, close to the Slovenia and the coast. This was a place he constructed those shipyards after all. It's an appropriate location. Over the house he prepared is enough for him. Looking out at the dockyards he ordered, a great place for him. I was not expecting this. Wow. Hopefully Germany can beat him up. The Poles are doing really well. No, the Poles and Lithuanians. Funhouse bag. Expert delegator.
I could my uh, governor of Bohemia. Oh, daring success, huh? Good for you. Good for you, son. Good for you. Suppress the socialists. So we don't have to deal with them anymore. I don't trust our Hungarians, though. No one should trust Hungarians. Never. Yeah, there goes the Poles. Yeah. That seems really difficult to do. Which means I probably won't be trying it out, but we'll see what happens. Unching is gone. Ah, Poland dying. What else is new? The fall of Warsaw. Good job, guys. So, are you going to release Poland and Lithuania as separate puppets now, or are you just going to eat them all up? That actually looks like not a bad Germany, but... Pius is 12th, huh? Alright. Good luck, Your Holiness. Oh, Rome. Oh, they actually own Rome. Oh, you're a bunch of paternal autocrats. It rules as absolute monarch with his temporal power coming directly from God. Propaganda leaflets? Really not vandals? Cool. Keep working on them civvies. Belgian Declaration of Independence? Well... We'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen just because I did not set it to know what's going to happen. Uh, which makes no sense, but like I, I didn't set it up to go any specific direction for anybody. So, You know as much as I do what's going to happen in this campaign. Or how this campaign was set up. Because I'm pretty sure this is my first time playing Kaiser Redux, Austria. So. A.M. Suspicions regarding the pirates' intentions. A treaty with such a dangerous band of individuals is bound to backfire eventually, and backfire it has. Suspicions regarding the intentions of the two clean pirates have made a treaty with, with have arisen. And that's suspicion to allow for the demanding of new policy towards them. This is the quiet way. We can't see while Horthy's absent. This is the quiet way. Probably gonna rebel. China's falling apart. But America's probably falling apart too. Who's, who's president? Still Hoover, huh? Not bad, not bad. The marshal holds on. And yeah, we don't have that much longer left. Oh, a week. Less than a week. Very good. Very, very good. Improved industrial machinery is nice, though. I like that. Defeat a sea. Oh, God. The intended attack on the pirate fleet backfired immediately. The planes and ships assigned to sink the Navy were initially met by a few subs and destroyers, but within the 30 minutes, cruisers and destroyers and more subs had arrived. A few planes ran out of fuel, and all of our ships were damaged in some way. We only managed to sink a destroyer and two subs, but at what cost? There's no doubt Holt will hear about our treason. It sounds like we have underestimated them. Who's in calling us? No one ever trusts us again of this? All that work for nothing? Sent a few made to arrest Holt and Spun's claims? Spurious claims of piracy as a result of the failure of the operation? Oh boy. Jumpstart the military economy. Black money has left Austrian economy in shambles. A more militarized economy would benefit that nation in many ways, from providing more jobs to providing pr more protection from external invasion. It just needs a little bit of a kick to get working. Nice. Thank God he's okay. Oh crap. The SDAP protests. Our new and better government has attracted protests from the SDAP who are relentless and restless due to their stolen government. After hearing the accusations that we are taking measures to silence them, the SDAP has begun a large protest all over Austria. Some of the more radical protesters have hurt our police. Despite them being the minority, we know that what must be done. It seems like the protests are what's not, what's hot about now. Shut them down by force. The siege of Fiume, the small detachment of soldiers sent in Fiume to detain Holthy were met by fierce opposition from both opponents and sea and on land. The buildings were manned and ready, almost as if they were ready for our incursion. Immediately after the arrival of the soldiers ensued, a hail of gunfire. A surprising number too, far too large compared to expectations. Our men gained ground using a few armored vehicles. But it was in vain. Their drivers were either nearly shot dead or blown to smithereens by explosives. On the other hand, the Illyrian government has not taken kindly to us attacking one of their cities without their approval. This may be a problem. Illyria, what are you up to? So we'll see what happens. We've got enough political power. Uh, I'm not really too worried about it, but they intervened against us. Illyrian banners waved over the hilltops, causing a hail of gunfire as Austrian soldiers turned to look at the delegation arriving. The delegation was more than absolutely furious. Anger was a delegation, with a torrent of yelling and fury directed at the Austrian commander at the siege, eventually. After reaching no conclusion, the Illyrians departed and returned, armed with rifles. They demanded the immediate halt to the siege, and they will protect Fiume. A few gunshots were actually exchanged between Illyrian and Austrian soldiers as the Illyrians began to go back home. The commander issued an apology as fast as he could, but the damage has been done. Is it too late? We demand Fiume. I don't mind going all the way in. If we have to go all the way in, then so be it. Especially if we do this before the Ausgleich. So. But we're still building ourselves up. And we researched some tanks, because we will probably use tanks in this campaign. Not sure which ones, but eventually we'll use some tanks. Anti-air is pretty good as well. Uh, let's grab some of this for so. 
So whenever we have enough of that, we'll do that, we'll do this, we'll do this. The Free City Fiume is declared. Hothi and his garrison were supposed to support from the Illyrians have declared the Free City Fiume. Why do the Illyrians allow it? Because they trusted the pirates enough. A stupid move, according to us, but it shall be seen. The results of the trust in pirates, but for now, the Illyrians have abandoned the city, likely due to its damages, and have issued harsh words to the Kaiser, and the Austrian government overseeing the operation. Against Habsburg menace Fiume stands. We'll get them eventually. Oh, country changes to Fiume. Uh, I don't like that. I, why can't we go to war with them right now? I don't want to kill them now. We should have the option to kill them right now. Uh, that sucks. But whatever. Expert structures is pretty nice. Hi hiring hired help. Alright. Ethnically motivated murder. That's really nice for them. That's really good for them. Wow. So all you have to do is make sure that they come into your lands and kill them off. The truth about pirates. The pirates, those suspicious harbored by a select few members of the that long ago meeting, were correct. It appears that Holthy indeed did make a treaty with them, but we were not the commanders of the pirate force. He was. He gave the orders for the pirates to, start, to stop targeting Austrian ships, but now that he has exposed, been exposed, Austrian ships have been torpedoed by the luke, lurking pirate submarines. Holthy, you traitor. Which sucks, but... So that should give us, you know, a Cassus Bella to attack his nation if we need to. So, can we? Oh, they even got Fiume, Fiume. Fiume and Zada. We have no extra planes because they're all training right now, which is good for us, but whatever. Um, I don't want to train these guys, but I kind of want to do that, even though we're going to lose quite a bit of guns still and artillery. But we're still trying to disable the legislature and then jumpstart the military economy, just because we need more millies, industry, and military construction people would be nice. God wills our progress. Oh, you bet he does. And plays and patriotism, I love, 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 love. Um, uh, we lose even more stability, we're pro as much as I love output and construction speed, we'll probably go this one for even more construction speed and better output. Ah, I love it. God wills our progress. God is for the Austrian nation. And we are for God. This gives us a harmonious relationship with the Lord, which shall bring Austria's progress ever so forward. God favors Austria again, and everyone else shall be jealous of a great relationship with him. Gott erhört Liebenfels den Kanzler. Over here. Since we're going with uh, superior firepower, I want as much artillery as possible. So, defense and soft attack is not bad. Soft attack and breakthrough. Yeah. Buller AG. That's what we like to see and hear about. So, yeah, once these guys, we're going to piss them off as much as we can. I want to kill all the Hungarians and the Illyrians and the Fiume and everyone else that we possibly can. What are you guys doing down here? Are you in training? No, because they don't have enough fuel. So, eventually, someday. Austrian Socialist Revolt. The like complete destruction of the legislature and cessation of actions has caused SDAP to enter an enraged fury. Every day there's loud yelling for change. <clears throat> oh, let's probably pause this one. Uh, and yell loud yelling for the return to democracy. Today it only got one step worse, with the SDAP finally taking up arms in what they call the restoration of order, of course. It's without a doubt that what they are doing will only hurt Austria. So, you all come down here and kill them all off in Kranzberg. Actually, we got lucky that you start right there. And you guys come to here, and we'll try to take you out as well. So they're led by Alfred Klar. Oh, they're... They're totalists. Oh, they don't have a unique focus That'd be really cool if they actually did. If they had a unique focus tree, we might we might just play as them instead, but whatever. Just force the attack. Yeah. Oh, Jiminy! Yes! Yes! I love being at war. Propaganda leaflets, really now, vandals. What a bunch of vandals. Slavery crowns King Alexander II. Very nice, very nice. Slovenians take up arms after our repeated misdemeanors against the Slovene people. They have taken up arms against our rule. Their forces are small and inexperienced, so it should be rather easy to revolt to crush. Liebenfels has denounced the Slovene rebels and states his intention to do away with all of them. The Slovenes wish for a return of the legislature. That partially represents them, but the Liebenfels has adamantly refused the recreation of a legislation. Uh, to Slovenia, we are the enemy, but real reality, and really, it's everyone's in a way, including them. That will be a regrettable uh, decision. Yeah, it will be. Especially once we get down here. Just make sure that we can win within a couple days. That's all I care about right now. You go immediately in. How can you guys not win here yet? Come on, I even force the attack. You gotta force it right now. How are they able to hold on like this? Oh, we're fighting over a river? How? Is there really a river here? Oh, there's barely a river there. That's why. Go straight for Venetia. 
Good. That should be enough to take him out. Oh, crap. Now he got in circle here, too. Are you kidding me, bro? That's stupid. How are these guys not capitulating yet? That makes no sense. Well, at least you guys mostly got out. Cranesburg? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, my God. Why are these guys not capitulating yet? This literally makes no sense. Force attack and force defense. I do not care. Radio's nice to get, though. And artillery's nice. Uh, it is 37. It's got some output. Xana falls ill, as he probably will and should. Okay, so seriously. Oh, my God. This is stupid. This is stupid. How have they not capitulated yet? Call all the allies in. This is incredibly stupid. Uh, come on. You've lost everything. Have you not lost everything? Uh, this is so dumb. Go in there immediately. They're only militia. Oh, at least we get some stuff from our uh, puppets, though. That's nice. Good. As they should be helping out. They should be. Stand up in America. Oh, America's dying, too. Nice. Get some better planes, of course. Get some more construction speed, because we never have enough. Well, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here, except win. So, force the defense. Let them die. Bro's ill. Oh, that sucks, bro. Get better soon. There you go. Nice. Kill them off here. They win, you lose. You win. They win. Depends who does what. Uh, let's go. God wills our progress, because he does. He absolutely does. Ah, thank you, Slovenia. You trade us to the nation. And at this point, if they want to rebel, I want mass executions. But maybe that's just me. Just in case. Just in case. Ooh, no, wrong side. And you know what? I don't trust the Italians either. Sure, guys, I'll take that stuff from you. Well, against protesters, the nation, let it happen, they'll, they'll pass, cease immediately or else. I'll let it happen. Oh, they cancel the lane, so that sucks. We're really loving their guns. Counter protesters clash with protesters. Send in the police. Oh, well. Oh, uh, and blazing patriotism? Impose limits. That's not bad. I want to do this one first, though. Patriotism is what drives our spirits. Every man, woman, and child of Austria shall know that their lo true loved one and loyalty is to the counselor. That they shall fight to the t when the time comes. And that they'll defend this nation to the last breath. Without patriotism, we would be nothing. That's why everyone must know just how patriotic they are. Oh, he stopped giving us two. Dang it. I like all the stuff they gave us. Well, this definitely gave us quite a bit of stuff to work with here. Uh, why are you not going on the line? Also, that did give us quite a bit more army XP. So these Dragona divisions, they're okay. They're not great. Um, Shna Abtung are just literally just our motorized. How much motorized do we have? None! Okay. We have nothing here. You guys 18 combat, which is not terrible. Infantry divisions, infantry with artillery, with pioneers or engineers. Panzerwagen division. It's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty good. It's a pretty nice division. Artillery and armor recon. There you go. Because I, I threw it on there anyway, so whatever. Nice. Zaynut? Hey, you learned a little bit, didn't you? No? You did learn a little bit. Uh, go with it. Yeah, we'll see what you do later on. Cool. And it is 37. Nothing here. Extraction? No, we're okay for now. We'll need to do that later on. What am I doing here? Um, I do want anti-air but engineers. We gotta get engineers. Train until you die. Which... Well, don't take that long, but whatever. Hey! American Civil War. Hey, guys, go ahead and kill each other off. There goes New England. Oh, more breath. I certainly plays a WCC. Ah, Mara. The allegation says unilaterally restore British rights. If you want to go with that, please go right ahead. Ah, I like Kaiser Dix because they didn't get rid of his pipe yet. I don't know why Kaiser Rock would get rid of MacArthur's pipe. I mean, that's just sin. Oh, he's been murdered? Oh, well. Russian answers their ambitions. Very cool. Let Russia do whatever needs to be done. Do we need a more... Oh, oh. There we go. It's fine. Start repairing. Anything here? Oh, Cassia. Yeah. Uh, if you want to about that, please go ahead as well. Interesting. Interwar bombers. 
the yeah, Omega goes as well, but whatever. We, have, we just need more military factories, but we're trying to make more cities. We're trying to make an industry here. So wait, we don't get anything about these people rising up. We, they just, we just let them rise up and just kill us. Uh, it seems to me or else. Fine, whatever. I don't like that. They rise up and try to kill off pure blood Aryans. We can't do anything. I'll scratch preparations. Every 10 years since 1867, Austrian and Hungarian delegations meet to discuss how much or each side of the empire puts into the common ministries. The ministries for foreign, military, and financial affairs. Due to their loss and demand for the reparations uh, for the Croatian territory, as the renegotiations of 1927 came to a standstill, resulting in Hungary not having paid anything into the common treasury for the last decade. Hungary's state was a rene renegade crown. Under the Kaiser's reign, has been a thorn in Austria's side for, for a while now, and at least some efforts have been made to be bring them back into the herd. We have other ideas, of course. So here, God wills our progress. And that's what matters most. No uh, import limits. Despite raising the work week, we've grown a little bit harder. Uh, we'll go a, bit, a little bit farther. The population will be split into two groups, daytime workers and nighttime workers. Then, once they get used to the new schedule, the economy will run day and night. Uh, day in, day out. Night in, night out. Still, though, this isn't bad for the residents. Nice. Protector of the Balkans? Oh, look at that. The well, Valkyrie has left the Balkans by large as an Austrian zone of influence. Unfortunately, we had to focus on other things during the last few years. We shall now remedy this and once again show who is the master of the house. Maybe we want to get through this as fast as possible first. Approaching Greece. Has not applied. Oh, we, well, I guess we can't do that because we applied sanctions to them. Oh. We protected the Balkans. For now. For now. Oh, well. We had to kill them off, then we'll kill them off. They make their choices, we make our choices. Unrestricted constituents. The continued radical policies passed by Liebensfels this time and time again has been has had the liberty of seriously upsetting Hungary, and furthermore, some representatives of the other constituents. It is visible in meetings that Liebensfels attends, the glares of the officials as Liebensfels speaks passionately. And then the glares he, as he moves, and the lasers of the eyes tracked on him. They really don't like us. It's for the greater good. To hell with those other people. If you're having issues here, get out. <sighs> But then again, I mean, they're just kind of dumb. Our division's just a little stupid. No, oh, just really stupid. My book didn't draw. Nice. Wait, that sure went out. Underground partisan activity? Oh, 6% chance nothing happens. 20% chance government official exploded. Let's see, so it exploded maybe? Baden? That's not the Baden I know of. Uh, they succeeded. Good job, guys. Cynicalism spreads to Burma. Good job. We do get a lot of political power, which is nice too. India? Oh, wait, it's the Kingdom of India. Well, that's kind of cool. I've never seen that one. Oh wow, Salvador the Third looking kind of funky. Oh, you need, no, you need question that sucks. She was India. I never played India on this channel before, I think. At least in the time it's recording, so we'll see. I'm actually really caught up on ship stuff. I love it. Nice. Um, three and one. Belgrade Congress argues for a new order on the Balkans. On the initiative of Serbia, several countries have convened in Belgrade to discuss the political and military situation in the Balkans during this Congress. A new military alliance was founded at the so-called Belgrade Pact. Uh, this clearly aimed against our former ally Bulgaria, of whom the countries have lost territory to in the Valkyrie. And we openly announce our support for Bulgaria and may keep the Belgrade Pact from declaring war on them. Let's avoid Balkan territory. Dang it, what's heck no! We're supporting Bulgaria. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Go, go to war, go to war. Spanish Civil War, nice. But I want these guys to go to war. I want to take out Serbia. I want to take out Romania. It's going to be a, so much bloodshed. It's not going to be, but going to be funny. Um, do we want to help anybody here? Oh, I guess it's Carlos, Spain. A whole division. Let's see what we can do. Uh, go ahead and import one of the fuels. One fuels, please. Which is going to be mostly for uh, huh, ships and whatnot, but still. We can send 58. So. Nice. 
Well, we'll see what happens. Propaganda leaflets? No? Sublime Ottoman state, huh? Social liberals, huh? Pirate activity. It seems that the legacy of the pirates have slithered their way back into the cracks and hold of our nation. As numerous goods are being hijacked by these nefarious actors, the pirates known to be under the ban of the new nation of Maritime Fiume have to be dealt with later, as right now we have no means to combat them. What do you mean? The effects of pirates on our exportations can bring already skidding industry fully to a standstill. When reported to the commanders, every one of them placed the blame on Admiral Turn Captain Miklos Horthy. It seems that there was a traitor in our midst. Bro, that sucks. Like, why can't we go after him? If we have to kill off Illyria, then I'm going to kill off Illyria. Let's be real here. Approaching Albania. We can no longer sit idly by as Albania sits our, to ourselves free of our influence. It's time to the question of where they stand. Absolutely. I don't mind sitting in the army. I do want some more army, uh, more stability, so. It's gonna hurt us for a while, but that's alright. Oh, and expand the Austrian military would probably be good too. The economic woes of the monarchy since the Valk Creek has made it difficult for funds to reach the military. With the economic situation improving and the tensions growing across the continent, military funding has significantly increased, allowing us to finally modernize our forces. So what's going on here? And to look, Carl Eggles here, which is a general I almost always use in every campaign. Which is nice. Alfred Jansa von Tannenau. Not bad. Why not? Yes. Do you not want to rescue that division, guys? Bruh. Then again, you're probably going to get encircled here, too, so. Organized labor riots. Uh, raids Schönbrunn Palace. Oh, no. In the middle of the night, eight masked men learned uh, to be from Fiume and actively working for the government there snuck their way into the Schönbrunn Palace and killed all the guards and took a few valuables. But not really much. The most devastating loss of was was of life, not of materials and artifacts. It seems that they are disappointed in their raids, so the next, they may come back for more May. We don't know anything about Fiume's next moves yet, but we can't do anything about their blatant crimes at this current moment. How nefarious. That sucks, man. Just let them do stuff. You just let them come in here and steal our stuff. I don't like this. I think this is kind of stupid. I'm going to get it. If we're playing, like, as Fiume, then yeah. But, like, I would not let that happen. Like, I would go and just kill them off. They're pirates, but they have to be docked somewhere. And if you want to defend pirates, well, then we're, you're an enemy of us. Uh, which one are we going to do? Ooh, oh, oh, that's the Which is business by the states. And place pictures and pose limits. Yeah, let's do this one. Give you more construction speed. We're going to lose even more stability, but who needs stability in here, apparently? Oh, Albania declines. Without bothering to make a counteroffer, the Albanian government has uh, refused <clears throat> our request. And moreover, has scoffed at the pretension to the Tower Protector of the Balkans. It appears that reliance will need to make do without them. Well, then. And we'll expand the military, uh, Austrian military, too, so. Because I do want the Obacamando. Army Obacamando. Carl? Oh, we are sucking here, aren't we? Don't get encircled now. I don't mind I'm learning, but just don't get encircled. Those limits, and then we'll do that one, yeah. And then we've got to do that splash, because it's already August 37, so... Defend, defend, defend. Do not get encircled, please. Do not... Um, still 37. Ship stuff, why not? Alveta Commune. Even when doing that, we still don't get any arm XP. Or air XP. Man, I, I can just tell when we go to war with Hungary, everyone's going to come try to kill us off. So we might not do some funky stuff here, maybe. Make sure we do okay ish. Seriously, let me kill them off. I just want to kill them off. And if you stand in my way, I will kill you off too. That's so dumb. Keep learning, Carl. You're 7% of the way there. Oh, and there we go. Hello. Serbia. Fourth Balkan War, huh? What do you guys around here? 
Well, we did offer to protect and guarantee their independence, right? So... Did we not guarantee them? That makes no sense. I'm pretty sure we guaranteed them. Like, we told them not to do anything there. Nothing funky. Uh, send you guys. Send tank division. Raus. Erhard Raus. Oh, he's Austrian? Oh. Huh. Sounds a little familiar. Where's Erhard Raus from? Was he a leader of Germany? Well, I don't know about that. 50. There we go. Nice. Of course, we have no fuel, which does suck as well. Because you guys... If you're not going to train, don't bother. Seriously, do not bother. Okay, protesters. Is this thing broken? Like, I don't understand, like... Protectors of the Balkans, all friends of Bulgaria. Hmm. Oh, there goes the command center. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, well, there goes those guys. We'll see if we can actually use them later. What? Oh, Bulgaria, yeah, you're dead. Oh, crap. Can you guys actually win here? Please go to war with us, Syria. Please make my day. Can you guys actually win here? Eh, you might be able to, actually. Peace out with the Ottomans, guys. We're really just going to start to die. Uh, sound super events. War propaganda? Okay. I'm okay with that. Close limits? Nice. Rear detection's nice. Drop some of those, too. Nice, 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 nice. And then it is still 37. Hydrophones for the future? Yes, please. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Can I... No, oh, well, that's not good. Good luck. Have a commando. Blueprints are nice and all. Take Serbia to the... Oh! Those stinking Serbs. The ones who plunged us into the Valkyrie have finally overstayed their duration of this earth. It's time to sweep their pitiful nation off the earth. Oh, they get cores, too. That's not good, but still... I don't want to make them any stronger, but at the same time, I don't want Serbia to exist. It's a give and take, really. Hold out there, boys. Do the best you can. Rouse. Was it Auslander Rouse? I think I've heard something like that before. Huh. I wonder what that means. Can you actually win there? Strike, give them concessions. Oh, I want more stability. Let's see what you can do about that, Carl. We're all very, very busy. Come on, Serbia, give it. Oh, they actually serve that's actually really good for the Ottomans. Alexander the second, come on. Try something funky, I dare you. The Volkschau, the new Volkschau arrives in Vienna. The Germans in Africa produce an extraordinary ethnological exposition showcasing the primitive customs of over a thousand performers from over a hundred different tribes in zoo-like exhibition, alongside elephants, lions, and of course, zebras. Tens of thousands attended the exhibit, which was found to be both educational and titillating. A testament to the effectiveness of German rule. Maybe we should have one of our own starring our Serbian neighbors. Okay, when is the Auschwitz going to fire? This is not cool. Hopefully, I just want to kill the Serbs. If we can kill all the Serbs, I will be so happy. But I do like this too. Uh oh, it's a lot of lag. Oh, it's born in Moravia. Oh. Wait, where are they going? There's a lot of Ottomans here. When are you going to revolt too, son? Ooh, we lose here. That's not good. To the grave, Serbia, to the grave. And Thaupting Desprecision Adlers. Oh, go straight to Oh, they go to war with us. Oh, wow. 
ultra nationalistic armed forces, just in case we do this one. Patriotism will drive their spirit. Uh, I think I read this one. Uh, every woman and child in uh, Avastra should show another one true loyalty to the counselor, and they shall fight when the time comes, and they will defend this nation to the last breath. Without patriotism, we would be nothing. That's why everyone must know how patriotic they are. Oh, crap. Was... Well, that's why we're going to war with the Serbia ourselves. 37. We're going to grab 38 stuff when you close research. Ah, we got there just in time. It's time to do what we do best and bomb other people. <sighs> what God intended. We must win this fast, people. Oh, we approach Romania? Oh, Canada. The Romanian kingdom now lies secure, must be brought into the fold. Intervention in Romania. Conjo's regime is failing, and Romania is being torn into a pop by civil war. Intervening on the Romanian side, we might turn the tides in their favor. There yet remains a lingering question over Greece's position. We should seek to drag a kicking and screaming into a sea of influence. Yes, yes, give us our stuff. Even if it's from the puppets, that's fine with us. What friends of Bulgaria? Oh. Bulgaria was an essentially an ally, an essential ally to the Valkyrie, helping us keep the Serbians of their ambitions in check, or so we thought. The dissolution of the central powers after the war enabled the perfidious Serbs to escape our grasp. Once again, Bulgaria's key to restoring peace and stability in the Balkans once and for all. These guys are doing force defense here, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I love that a lot. If we can cut off the capital, that'd even be better. Death to the Serbs. Let him pass. Uh, let it happen, they'll let it pass. Eh, see some meteor else. Fine, as long as we win before anything else happens. Look at that. They're literally doing force defense. I love it. Nice. Drop them. They fight to the death? Okay. Business interest by the state. Ah, well, private monopoly must be avoided at all costs, and so it is necessary that the state is the brains behind each and every corporation. The strings shall hang from above them, whether they like it or not. If they want to complain, then let them. Who are we to stop them if they want to complain? Yes, Bulgaria, we are doing as best as we possibly can for you. Uh, oh my gosh, another military division dies? Ah, another good day, then. Over the river and through the woods, my friends. They wanted forced defense? Then we will force the attack! Easy as that. And now, uh, this is what I would call extreme major BS. Because now our soldiers have been trapped, which I think is complete and utter garbage. Because now all of our divisions have been cut off by the evil Illyrians. Oh, I don't think that's very fair to have them do it all of a sudden as we're literally in the middle of their lands, but what are we to do about it? This is stupid. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like how this has been set up. I really don't. I mean, I'm glad we're not cut off or anything, but still. Also call everyone else in. We're still here. They find Serbs? No. Oh my god. Okay, no. I I just can't agree with this at all. This is too stupid. This is completely stupid. Why would we give Slovenia freedom if we already crushed them once? That is something I completely, absolutely do not agree with. And that should, honestly, probably get looked at again. We... Uh, why? It to make no sense, sir. It's making no sense. Who designed this? It makes no sense whatsoever. Seriously, and you guys need to hurry the heck up. They want to do force defense. I'm totally fine with them doing force defense. But they have to die faster than this. Come on, Belgrade, just for the love of God, fall. So I guess no slash negotiations this year. to hold. This is ridiculous. And I just can't agree with the devs here. I just cannot. This doesn't make any sense. How? How is this even possible that we wouldn't not crush those who rebelled against us earlier? 
in what universe would we not crush them? If we crush them once and make sure it doesn't happen again, how can they rebel one more time? I just don't understand. Maybe I'm taking crazy pills, but this literally makes no sense. And for these guys to hold out like this, yeah, I'm sorry, no. Especially when we have air superiority and doing damage to them. Sorry. Just uh, some things in Kai's Redux, I just... It's... No. That doesn't make any sense. Supporting arms of Venezuela. We've been buying or been approached by an officer. The from the Venezuelan military looking to buy a large amount of shipments or small arms to refit their troops. While we obviously will have to pay or say goodbye to part of our arm stock, but I'll be rather lucrative contract list to stimulate our arms industry. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, this is dumb. I don't like this. I think this is incredibly stupid and needs to be reworked. Uh, actually, don't worry about the Romanians. I do not understand why the devs put it in here like this, but you know what? I'm not the devs. Yeah, we'll just totally let them live again. That makes perfect sense. Pfft, come on. That literally does n makes no sense. You guys hold for now. Don't attack it. Also, I guess no negotiations, huh? That's why we're going for the patriotism. Arian spear huh? Pola falls to a piracy. Those ransacking barbaric pirates and few may have done it again. They've marched their disgusting selves into the streets of the city of Pola, planting their flag on the city and tearing down any others. The government has split on that action. Uh, one side wishes to intervene, which, which while may think such a war is futile and that we've planned enough problems already, which is a plan of action. No. I mean, we're about to fight them anyways, whatever. Um, Osterreich Uba Alas. That's not bad. We can use more civvies, though. Business intervention by the state. Uh, Oba Alas, Uba Alas, though. Austria is above all. Above all else in the world. That one is that one saying of the front. Now, the recent developments and invisible regrowth of the economic situation. We can bolster the arguments of how great we are. Lest someone attempt opposition. Despite being so large, we have managed to recover quickly. And business interests by the state. <clears throat> Private monopoly must be avoided at all costs. Oh, I read this one. So, regardless. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As hopefully we will have this a lot more under control. Even though I completely disagree with what the devs have done here. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.